Welcome to the fourth segment in this PowerPoint Skills Development Series. In this presentation, we're going to be working with audio narration and adding music to your presentation. At the end of this presentation, you will be able to record an audio narration directly in your PowerPoint slide, add a pre-recorded audio narration to your slide from a file and adjust the volume. Finally, you'll be able to add music to one slide, across several slides, or across the entire presentation. PowerPoint software allows you to write notes under the slide. This is a great place to write your audio narration. Here are some tips about writing and delivering your script from PromptDog.com. First, be sure to write the way you talk. If you write your audio script the way you typically write, it will be difficult to make the audio narration sound natural and smooth. Be sure to read through the script aloud before you record. This will save time by preventing you from making several recordings that end up being practiced. So, practice first. Edit your script if you find that you're stumbling over certain words over and over again. When recording, sit up. Talk with energy and volume. You can always adjust the volume up or down later, but a higher volume will help you increase the energy level and interest in your presentation. More tips on audio narration can be found at PromptDog.com. Look under training for these tips. All right, we're going to go ahead and record an audio directly in the PowerPoint slide. As you can see at the bottom here, we have our audio narration written out in the notes section of the slide. Go up to the navigation bar and select insert. And then over to audio, select the down arrow button and record audio. All right, so let's record the audio. Human resource development training programs have three distinct purposes that include compliance, performance, and innovation. Let's talk about these three types of training a bit more. All right, so now we're done. So let's listen to this again. Human resource development training programs have three distinct purposes that include compliance, performance, and innovation. Let's talk about these three types of training a bit more. All right, now if you're happy with the recording, you select OK. If you're not, then you can go ahead and re-record. Just cancel and re-record. So let's select OK. And here's your audio narration. Now, most students leave the audio narration right on the front of the slide. What we're going to do is drag it off the slide, and that way it won't be seen by those who are viewing the presentation. Now, in order to adjust your audio, your audio adjustment is right here. You can adjust it up or you can adjust it down. What you'll want to do is wait until you go all the way through the presentation, listen to each slide, make notations about which slides are higher or lower in volume, and then make adjustments. You may think that all of the slides will have the same volume level if you select the same point on the volume slider. But that's not the case. There are sometimes when you're talking louder and sometimes when you're talking more quietly, and this is going to translate on the audio narration. So when you listen to the entire presentation, you'll be able to make those small adjustments so that when the presentation is finished, it has a nice smooth audio sound. Next, let's insert an audio from file. If you have your own audio recording software, this allows you to make a cleaner, more crisp audio file. For students making presentations to meet course requirements, this is not an issue. If you're an instructor, this is an issue. You want very clean, crisp audio recordings. To insert an audio recording from file, select Insert in the navigation bar, and then go back over to Audio, select the down arrow, and select Audio from File. This recording is slide 16 of this particular PowerPoint. It is a recording of the information in the notes section here. So let's select the audio and insert. Again, we have the audio icon here. Just drag it off the slide and you're done. 
Inserting music is the same process as inserting an audio narration. Go to the navigation bar and select Insert. Then go back to the audio icon and select Audio from File. I have my music stored on the music file. Here I've already identified an MP3 file that I would like to use. So let's select the file and select Insert. Simple. Now let's drag it off the screen. If you want to insert the music for both the title slide and the final slide, then you need to insert the MP3 into both slides. Let's make some adjustments to our music file. To begin working with the file, go to the navigation bar and select Animations. Select the audio icon for the music and select the play icon to add this animation to the file. You can see the animation right here. Now we can open the animation pane where we can see the more detailed adjustments. Here's our file right here. If we want the music to begin playing after the audio narration, then it's placed after the audio file. Here's the audio narration. So here we go, we placed it after the audio file. However, if you want it to begin playing as the presentation starts, then you'll need to move it before the other animations in the animation pane. So let's move it to the front. Now select the down arrow to the right of the music animation and select Effect Options. This will bring up a dialog box. You have several options to choose from. Let's look at the timing first. Select Timing. If you look at the start here, you'll see On Click. That means that when the presentation opens, the viewer would have to actually click the music in order for it to start. So we want it to start right away. We're going to say With Previous. With Previous means that as the presentation opens, with the opening of the presentation, the music is going to start. All right, let's look at the effect. Go over and select Effect. All right, so when do we want it to start playing? Obviously, we want it to start from the beginning because we've said we want it to, to open with the presentation. However, when do we want it to stop? If we select After Current Slide, that means that the music is going to play for the title slide, and as the presentation moves to the next slide, which is the overview, the music's going to stop. If you want the music to play for the first two slides, for the title slide and the overview, then you're going to select After and Slide 2, because our overview is Slide 2. Alright, if you want the music to continue playing for the entire presentation, then you need to know how many slides are in the presentation. In this particular presentation, there are 24 slides, so I'm going to type in 24. This means that the music is going to play for the entire presentation. Let's select OK and close this pane. All right, so here's our music over here. Let's talk about the volume. If you're going to use the music in conjunction with audio narration, you need to set the volume fairly low. This is because the music is going to compete with the audio narration and your viewers are not going to be able to understand what you're saying. However, if you're using music and you're not using any audio narrations, you can set the music to any volume that's appropriate. Another option is to insert a music file that's louder for the title slide and the final slide. Then insert music into the second slide, right here, at a very low volume for background music. Set it to begin with the opening of the second slide and to continue until the end of the recap slide, which should be your second to last slide. In this presentation, we had 24 slides. So let's do this again. Insert, audio from file, audio file. Select the file, select insert. Now animations, select play, and open the animation pane. Here's our music. Set it to go before the audio narration, Effect Options, 
from beginning with previous, so as the second slide opens, until after the 23rd slide, because there's 24 slides. And OK. All right. All right, now you know how to insert music and set it to play for just one slide or for an entire group of slides. In this segment, we discussed how to record voice narrations directly in your PowerPoint slide, how to add pre-recorded voice narrations from a file and make adjustments to the volume, as well as adding music to just one slide across several slides or throughout the entire presentation. A final note about music selection. Keep in mind that music is subject to the same copyright restrictions as graphics mentioned in the second presentation, Working with Graphics. Please let me know if you have any questions about working with audio narrations or music in Microsoft PowerPoint. The next segment of this series will demonstrate how to insert and modify video in your presentation.